Secor is uh, an innovation driven uh, company. And uh, when I say innovation, I'm referring to technology uh, development. We look to apply that technology to help our clients basically get the maximum value out of that technology development uh, so it finds its place in industry. So Secor has been involved in all kinds of field programs uh, over the course of its almost 50 years of existence as an organization. Sometimes we're testing um, technologies that Secor is developing ourselves. Um, and we want to go out and test them and validate them. And then other times uh, we've got clients that come to us and they'd like us to test their technology in a given environment, just sort of as a, a third party uh, validation of, of their technology. We support uh, a cross section of, of all industries, whether it's energy, uh, whether it's space, uh, defense, aquaculture, marine transportation. So full spectrum, space to, uh, to subsea is areas that uh, that we're relevant in terms of what we do uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So Secor is a, a separately incorporated entity of Memorial University. We take technology that's been developed, uh, whether through students or through masters or PhD, we look basically to take those nuggets of technology and apply them into, uh, into industry applications. Why we were initiated as an organization was to try and bridge the gap between academia and industry. And I think that's kind of the space that we operate best in. You know, we, we talk about ourselves as being an R&D organization, um, but we say that we're kind of smaller R and, and bigger D. So less so a focus on really detailed research and more so on the development side of things. So we've had a significant role in the development of our offshore region. We've had a, a role to play in helping folks understand what harsh means and we've developed an offshore industry here and there, there isn't another in the world that's like it and Secor has had a, a role to play. You know Secor was developed um, to try and uh, allow resource extraction uh, in harsh environments and I think um, you know because of that a lot of our clients were uh, oil and gas based. There's opportunities, I think, for Secor to position itself to really take the same kind of skill sets that we've developed for our offshore oil and gas clients and, and apply them to uh, the energy transition that we're seeing now. On a global basis, where trends develop, there's clean energy, green energy development, and uh, today, wind energy is a large part of that. So we're looking to understand where the key gaps and challenges exist in that industry and to, to help solve them, uh, to make that industry more competitive. I think there's lots of opportunity in the ocean space, um, especially with the energy transition that we're, we're seeing going on right now. So I think that in itself uh, presents lots of new opportunities for, for new graduates and career transitions to, to take place. Secor values uh, growth of highly qualified people and over 1,300 students have been mentored here. So we've benefited uh, from their presence and their skills and experience. And it's a world of, of opportunity here. And individuals, in many cases, uh, kind of pave their own paths and, uh, and destiny. We employ a full spectrum of talent, engineering talent and technology talent, from mechanical, civil, electrical, and ocean naval engineers, as well as technologists and software. At Secor, uh, that skill will grow. When you get into innovation, then you're looking to develop something new all the time, looking for a better way to do things, a more attractive way of doing things, ultimately a more competitive way of doing things. Self-motivated, collaborative individuals are the types that thrive at Secor.